Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create your own habit tracker. So basically you will know how to do this um, and also change the colors and do all kinds of other fun stuff on Google Sheets. Basically this habit tracker, you can use it for your own personal routine. So whether it's a morning or a night um, evening routine, you can also use it for your work. So for example, if you post on Facebook, you can mark you know, how many posts or how many days you're posting so you can watch your progress. If you're creating digital products, then it's super nice because then you can mark, you know, which days you created products and also track your progress. So I think for you, it's kind of, you know, to set certain goals. For example, you set 20 goals and then you can just mark them. Great part about Google Sheets is that whether you have it on your phone or your computer, you can still track the same data. So it's very comfortable and easy to use. Okay, without further ado, let's just get started and let me show you how you can create a habit tracker. So basically we have a formula that makes sure that this is 100%. Let me just delete these for now. Um, so you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. It's really super, super easy. So the formula, it's count if the range, and then it says true because true in Google Sheets. So if this is unchecked, it says false. And if it is checked, then it's true. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it from the very beginning. But now let's look at the formula itself. So first, what, basically what you need to know is that you need to copy your range twice. However, if you want to understand why it is like it is, just basically says this one is just tells Google where the range is um, or which data it should look at. And then this part, uh, how many times it should be divided so that Google knows that it's 10 times. Okay. Never mind this, don't worry about it. We just copy the same number twice. So I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the range that I have. And then I just copy that same range over there if it's changing, for example. So now nothing's gonna change because it was already there, but let's say I wanna add two more. So I click on them and I go to insert two columns, right? And now, as you can see, it says 100%, even though I have two more over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And it's really nice because it actually shows you with color where your range is. So if I delete this and if I choose over here, now, as you can see, the first one is orange. So orange is fine. And the purple one is not. I'm going to click enter choose this again because now see it still says a hundred percent because google is not accounting these new ones um but what we're gonna do we're gonna choose this and we're gonna choose the whole range so now it's done and now the percentage is working nicely okay before i tell you how to color everything let me just do this from scratch so you can really really see it so i'm just gonna create a new sheet i'm gonna delete all of this and i've just added some monday tuesday wednesday i don't know if you know this but if you write monday tuesday and then select it select the square thing and drag it out um it writes all the other days automatically and here i just posted you know facebook twitter tiktok so maybe you want to track your social media we can also say some other ones if we want we can also if you want you can be like you can say facebook post um, maybe you want to track if it's a video, if it's a photo, if it's, um, uh, uh, what else Facebook has a story or maybe it's a live. So not live, live. Uh, so then you can track that as well. You can, you know, it doesn't have to be the same social media. You can also have different names. If you have employees, a lot of different options here. Okay. So now we're going to select this where we're going to have the checkboxes. So I just select this, click insert and click checkbox. So as you can see, all of my checkboxes are over here. Maybe it's Instagram here. It's really, you know, it's really up to you what you're going to write here. It really doesn't matter. Okay. So now that I have these, 
I want my percentage to appear here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula so you can just write uh, the formula down. So I'm just going to copy it. It's easier for me than just to write it uh, from scratch. I'm going to post it here. And of course, it's going to be super, it's going to be zero because it's not even the right range or anything. But what we're going to do, we click on it, we delete this part and we copy the range. And then what I like to do is just copy this and paste it over here as well. See, so now the number is changing. You probably want a percentage here. So then you can just click this icon here and it's going to format is it as a percent and you can also make it smaller for example now if you want it to be the same over here all you have to do is select this select this blue square and drag it out that's it now you can choose all of these um, parts okay so let's say I want I have done this and then I want it bigger no problem I can just um, copy and I can paste it so now it has more but my my percentage is just gone another way is to copy and insert five columns right but then we have to fix the percentage because as you can see this is only what it's tracking that's really not difficult I will just do this copy this and paste this so now I think it's probably uh, okay I wrote I made it wrong sorry about that <laughs> yeah I'm having great time okay so now I have it all and now I can track a uh, hundred percent of what this is so now this is the time where I'm going to show you how to color the percentage so for example if it's um, less than 50 more than 50 and all of that fun stuff so we go to view more cell actions conditional formatting and then we say uh, if it's greater than, so if it's more than 50%, make sure you write percent if you chose percent here. And so it's if it's more, it's green. If it's um, less than 50%, it's going to be red. And if it's going to be equal, let me move myself. Uh, then it's gonna be it's gonna be blue again we write 50% okay and then to make sure that these are also um, working I'm gonna just drag it out so as you can see the colors change now and I can you know change them and uh, do it like that another thing you could do if you want let me just delete um, well, let me just copy this actually. I'm going to show you another thing. So, um, another thing you could do, let's delete. Okay, they're all connected. Great. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's do a color scale. So, I have minimal value and a higher value. And I'm going to choose range, which is just this. I don't know what I was doing with this. No, it's not what I wanted. Sorry, wrong range. This is what I meant. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Anyways, this is what I meant. Okay, so it's even easier than you can just choose one color and change the second one and you don't have to choose three. So it's minimum and bigger and whatever. So there's multiple ways you can do this, multiple ways you can color it. So now once I, you know, change it also, it will change everywhere and you can, you know, you can really make it um, nice and crazy and, you know, do whatever you want with it. Okay, so this is how you color it. Now, another thing and last thing I promise that I want to talk about to you today is uh, what if it's a date? Maybe you don't want it to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you want it to be some date and that's not a problem you just write the date here and then you can change it by clicking twice and this nice uh, calendar appears and you can just choose it also if I just drag it out it's gonna do the next 
day. So that's it for this video. If it was helpful, just let me know. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer all of them for you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.